What does lawless mean? That's the Greek word for iniquity is lawless. What it, but what does it mean to be lawless? It means no laws. Nothing to govern. Obama's not interested in lawlessness. He's interested in dictatorship. Being a dictator. Law is absolutely mandatory for liberty. You can't have liberty without law. Today they want to say, it's all grace. Jesus went to the cross to deliver us from the law. No, he died on the cross because you couldn't keep the law. But through Jesus Christ, he gives us the strength to keep the law. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So this is a lawless generation without law under a dictatorship. The people are lawless and their leaders are dictators. And because iniquity shall abound, lawlessness, the love of many shall wax cold. And it's absolutely true. The love of many is waxing cold. We need our hearts to stay tender. We need our hearts to stay melted. To stay flowable. A broken and a contrite spirit. If we do not obey God's commands, if we don't live lawful, the Bible talks about being lawful when running the race. That we must run the race lawfully. In other words, according to the rules. I'm going to say this again. You can't have peace. You can't have liberty without laws to govern. Laws in government is not for dictatorship, it's for freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. The spirit of the Lord is also the spirit of the Lord is also the law of the spirit. It's a law. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. The Holy Spirit comes to constrain us and ultimately to put us on the cross. Death to the self-life. But the world is lawless. And that's why the love of many is waxing cold. Well, God's love doesn't change. And so, if we continue to stay in relationship with the Lord, letting his love be shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, his love will keep us from growing cold. And there are those today that have left their first love and need to return to their first love. So that flame, so their hearts can burn brightly. Their hearts can burn for the Lord, on fire for Jesus. So you don't have to be affected by lawlessness. That's a choice. That's up to you. But I'm going to say it again, without law, without governance, there is no liberty. There is no freedom. You're not free to sin. You're not free to do evil. You're not free to hurt people. You're not free to sleep with your neighbor's wife. 
You're not free to do the things that are contrary to God's nature. You're free to live within the confines of God's nature, which is holy, blameless, perfect, 